poet tier list, bro. I was supposed to make this literally a day or two after the album dropped, but I wanted to really, like, actually listen to the album over and over again, have many chances to really listen to it, really dissect it off camera. Um, I even listened to it working out, driving, on a plane. Like, I literally listened to Hood Poet, and, I'm, and I kid you not, my reaction and my thoughts are still the same. Maybe one or two songs really grew on me, but besides that, my thoughts and my reaction from the initial one is still the same. Um, and it's just, it's just that, bro. You feel me? Y'all let me know down in the comments how y'all feeling about Hood Poet, y'all favorite songs, um, favorite feature. But if you watch my album reaction, you already know how I'm feeling about it. It wasn't the best album from Polo G out of all his other three albums. Um, it wasn't bad, but it's obviously his worst project between Die Legend, The Goat, and Hall of Fame. You feel me? Hood Poet, for me, ranked last out of all those three albums. Ne that doesn't necessarily mean the album is horrible, but it's just, you know, waiting three years for an album, um... I expected Polo G to really come crazy how he did with the intro, God's Favorite. A lot of the songs really didn't do much for me. Um, the features wasn't the best, you know, besides a few. Uh, and then there's just production. The production and the mixing, I think that's the one area in Polo G's career that he obviously have to work on and really tap in with somebody that's really good, bro. Because... Yeah, man, you feel me? Now, look, yes, PG sold 24K. I don't want to hear nobody talk about that. Uh, understandable, you feel me? Was I surprised? 100% surprised. I was not expecting Polo G to sell 24K, you know? I was expecting at least 80 to 100,000, you feel me? Judging by his previous albums, but he sold 80K, which is fine, you know? Like I said, 20, like, first week sales doesn't really speak about the album, really. Um... It just shows and makes fans brag and talk about, oh, my artist did this and this and that. You know, but dropping from 134 to 24K is definitely a decline there, you know. So anyway, let's dive into this, man. Hood Poet, Terrorist, man. First song, God's Favorite. Now, God's Favorite to me is arguably one of Polo G best intros to his album. Um, Just... Just the production of this song, bro. The beat. Like, it was just, like, it was different. You know what I'm saying? It was different from any other song Polo G made on his album. You feel me? So, I'm going to rank God's favorite uh, A tier. I think it was a pretty good intro. Uh, he started off the album pretty well. I was I was lit. I was hype. You know? That, that was a good that was a good song. That was a good song. You feel me? I'm not going to lie to you. So, I'm going to put God's favorite A tier for sure. Okay, next song is called No Recruits, man. I believe that's the song with G Herbo. Not a lot of you heard messed up the vibe. Uh, so I'm going to put that at C tier. Polo G and G Herbo vibe off that song wasn't the best. Um, and arguably, G Herbo was probably the worst feature on this album. You feel me? So No Recruit is a, a C to me. You feel me? A lot of y'all put in D. Move Cam? My fault, y'all. So yeah, C tier for sure. Okay, barely holding on. Now this is a song that we heard already before the album dropped. Um, barely holding on is a very great song. I'm gonna definitely put it at B tier for sure. That song speaks volume to me. Um, it's definitely up there, but I don't think it's better than God's favorite. I don't think. I don't think. I mean. It's two different vibes, God's Favorite versus Barely Holding On, but I like God's Favorite a little bit more than Barely Holding On. Um, that's just me personally. Barely Holding On is a great song. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. It's a great song. Um, I'm going to call you later. It's a great song, you feel me? But, yeah, I got to put that at B tier. I got to put that at B tier for sure. Okay, next song, Only Gang. 
Chat, who is the feature for only game? Was that was that 42 Doug? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> this is arguably the worst song off the album. Polo G and 42 Doug chemistry was nowhere near to be found. Off beat, 42 Doug sounds horrible. The transition was terrible from Polo G to 42 Doug. This the song as a whole was horrible, bro. D tier. If I could put it at F tier, I would because the song was garbage. I would never listen to that song again in my life, bro. No. 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 Uh, same me with Friday. Now, Friday and Polo G, I definitely like that chemistry between them two. Friday's a very, very great artist. Um, and I think artist, I think Friday brings different vibes of songs, in my opinion. You feel me? So, I'm gonna put this at B tier, too. I think same me deserves a lot, a lot of recognition. Um, he was definitely talking on that song, you feel me? And somebody had hit me up before the album dropped was like, yo, DJ, bro, that one feature you all like is Friday. Now, when he did drop the, the list, I was surprised that Friday was up there, you know? So I'm like, I can't wait to see how Friday and Polo G's go, you know, come together. And I really think they did their thing. I definitely want to hear more in the future between them two. Um, so yeah, definitely B tier for me. Not gonna lie. Um, uh, B tier for sure. Detox. Now... Detox. A lot of y'all didn't like Detox, and I think Detox is definitely top five off the album. You feel me? I think Detox is top five off the album. If it's not top five, maybe top four for sure. Um, I'm thinking about between A or B. I'm not really sure where I want to put Detox. I'm going to go B tier for Detox. I'm going to go B tier. I'm going to go B tier. For sure. I'm going to go B tier. I'm going to go B tier. That's it. Thorns. Now look. A couple listens with Thorns. It got a little better. But still to this day, I don't think Thorns is a better song than... than uh, than Detox. I think Detox is a way better song than Thorns. Thorns was a little too slow for me. Um, and y'all can say the same thing about Detox, but Detox, bro, I feel like the vibe, what he was talking about on that song, the meaning behind that, bro, is, is, a, is a much deeper scale than Thorns. So I'm gonna put Thorns C tier. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna put Thorns at C tier, bro. I think Detox is a way better song than Thorns, bro. I'm gonna be honest, chat. I'm going to be honest. Detox. Y'all didn't like Detox as much as I like Detox. But I think Detox was the best, bro. Not going to lie. Thorin C tier is diabolical. Bro, that's just me personally, bro. I want to see y'all tier list, bro. You feel me? Let me see y'all tier list after this. Um. So, yeah. That's me. G63. Oh, nah, I ain't going to lie. G63. Uh, Polo G... And Offset. Now, this vibe of this song was amazing. I was not expecting Polo G and Offset to have that type of chemistry. Um, the beat was amazing. Now, I really want to put this at A tier because I think it's very, very different from the rest of the songs on the album. And I feel like Offset was definitely another good feature. You feel me? So, Friday was a good feature. And Offset was a good feature. I want to put this at A tier, chat. I'm not going to lie to you. I want to put this at A tier. I just feel like the, the vibe was there, though, bro. That's the only reason why I, I'm, I'm considering putting it at A tier, but I might just put it at B tier um, because I don't think it's at the level of God's favorite. But at the same time, it's not really near Detox or Same Me or even Barely Holding On. So it's like, for me, G63 is in the middle of B and C. So, uh, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I want to put it at C tier now. But putting it at C tier is crazy. So I'm going to put it at B tier because G63 is, is way better than No Recruits and Thorns, in my opinion. So I'm going to just put it at B tier. 
Because realistically, I think it's like in the middle of B and C, though, chat. That's just me personally, bro. Uh, okay, we are shoot. That's with Polo G and Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk did way better than Polo G on that track. Um, that was a good track, but it wasn't enough of Polo G, in my opinion. The song was good, but I feel like it was only good because of Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk outshone Polo G. I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. It out it, like he outshone PG. Now Will Shoe is good. It's way better than No Recruits, and it's low key better than Thorns. But I can't put in the same level as same me, Detox, G63. Or, so I'm going to put that C tier. I'm going to put Will Shoe that C tier. Dirk, Dirk did wise Polo, but doesn't mean Polo did bad. Nah, it doesn't mean Polo did bad, but... Shit. <laughs> shit, Dirk went crazy, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. Dirk went crazy, though, bro. The song was good. The song was good, though, but if I have to compare it... Through every song on the album is is C tier for sure. C tier for sure. Um, Angels in the Sky. Angels in the Sky is an A tier song. <laughs> A tier. A tier for sure. I don't care what no bro. Angels in the Sky is an A tier song, bro. Y'all putting that C tier? I ain't gonna lie. Nah, Angels in the Sky is, is an A tier, bro. Mixing was ass. Fuck the mixing, bro. What he was talking about, bro, that's an A tier for me, bro. Uh, Rain Falling. That's with the Kid Leroy. Um, not gonna lie to you, Rain Falling wasn't a song that. Like, when I heard the collaboration, I was excited, but. Actually hearing a song, it didn't really meet the expectations though, bro. Like, I know it's an old song. I know that was an old verse, but it didn't really meet the expectations. The only good thing about the song was the hook, in my opinion. Leroy verse was like 10 to 15 seconds. Um It's just I don't know. The really like the only good part about the song was the hook. The hook was amazing, bro. But besides that, I don't know, bro. It, it didn't really meet my expectations, bro. So, I'm going to have to go C tier. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to go C tier for sure, bro. C tier for sure. Okay, distractions. Um, Do we have to rank distractions? Do we have to rank distractions? I mean, if I rank barely holding on angels in this, but distraction is two years old though. Chat distraction is two years old. But if I had to rank it, mm, I ain't gonna lie to you. I forgot how distractions went, bro. Distractions after listen to it. Mm, between A and B, though, bro. I'm going to go B tier. I'm going to go B tier for distractions. I'm going to go B tier. Uh, no turning back. Chat, remind me of no turning back. Uh, let me listen to that song again. Where's my phone? No turning back. Hold up, chat. I forgot about no turning back. That's the song I probably won't ever listen to it again because I forgot about it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a song with Hacho. Wait a minute. No, this is B tier. Hold up. No turning. Oh, my. No, no, no. That's probably. Like, like I'm not going to lie to you. Hacho and 42 Doug had a race for a worst feature on the album, bro. Yo. Like, Hacho is a good artist, bro. I fuck with some of his songs, bro. But him and Polo do not coexist whatsoever, bro. Oh, my God, bro. 
Oh my god, bro. Hell nah. Hell nah, dog. Alright. Dark side. Now, I think Dark Side is arguably the best song off this album whatsoever. And me personally, I have to put this at S tier. I just believe that this song is the best song. Arguably the best song of this album. Um, and it deserves a lot of attention. You feel me? Me personally, Dark Side, Guy's Favorite, Detox, Same Me are like one of the best songs. Top four, top five. Um, that's just my opinion. Better than the intro? I believe that Dark Side is better than the intro. Arguably better than the intro due to the fact that like just hearing the song over and over again, bro, like it just it just clicked with me. You feel me? It really clicked with me a lot. Guys favorite is is very is a very good intro, but Guys Favorite is different from every other song off this album. And that's why I believe that it's it's like God's favorite separates itself from the album because that was a whole different vibe. You feel me? Just hearing the ladies sing and talk like that whole song as a whole was just that was just a different song. Like, yeah, it definitely separates itself. But I feel like Dark Side, like if you actually hear it, listen to it, dissect the lyrics, bro. Oh my, that shit touched me, bro. I feel like that's the best song to me personally. Um. That's why I got Dark Side at S tier. That's just that's just me. That's just me, man. Anyway, okay. Bad Kids. Right? That's the name of the song. That's with Glorilla. Him and Glorilla, the chemistry was there. This song personally is not for me, but the chemistry was there. It was a very good track. Like, I'm not even go trying to downplay this, bro. That song was a very good track. Very good track, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, I just won't listen to the song again, but I'm not judging it right. This song, I won't judge it based on me. I'm gonna just judge it based on like, yo, this is a very good song, cause I'm very biased right now. It's a very good song, but like, I just won't listen to it, you know what I'm saying? So let me not let me not think like that, and let me just like, it's a, it's a good song, so I'm gonna just put it at, I'm gonna put it at B. I'm gonna put it at B, cause it's not, it, it doesn't deserve to be on the list with, no recruit storms or even rainfall. I mean, low key. Hold up, low key. Low key, no, 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 no. I'm gonna put it at C tier. No recruit is going at D tier. Fuck no. No recruit was horrible. I don't know why I put no recruit at C tier. Oh my god. I'm gonna put it at C tier. Now look. Again. Bad Kids wasn't horrible, bro. The chemistry was there. But it's not on the level of what, what at B tier, though. It's just, it's just not. I'm going to just be honest. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not, bro. Uh, okay, Survival of the Fittest with Future. Now, this is a song where I was very disappointed as well. Um, I really felt like... PG and Future could really do something together. And that song didn't really do much for me, bro. The song was... The song was decent. You know, it wasn't... It just wasn't there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really expected a lot more for them, too. Um, so, I'm going to put that at C tier as well. I'm going to put it at C tier, bro. Uh, Father's Day. Father's Day, man. Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day was a good track. Very opening from Polo G. Polo G was being very open and really thanking his father on that track. Um, I'm trying to think. Where should I rank this song? Because mm. I feel like Father's Day is a song where it's like, you listen to it, you listen to it. You feel me? If you don't, you don't. You know, it's not like a hit or anything. Like, if you if you want to be technical, it's not a hit. 
low key, I want to put it at C tier because it's like, man, that song was talking, but at the end of the day, I could I could live without this song. Um, and again, he was very open on that track. Not as open as he should be or can be, but, you know, he was saying some things on that track where, you know, he's, you know, thanking his father, you know what I'm saying? You know, showing love to his father, praising his father. Um... I put that B tier. I put that B tier. Uh, from the heart. Now, the way he ended off the album, from the heart, I believe this is another good track from Polo G off the album. Um, and I'm gonna put this one at A tier as well. I believe from the heart is the intro was amazing. The outro was amazing. You feel me, chap? Where did I go wrong? It gotta be S tier? Uh, kinda. It's like in the middle of S and A, low key. I low key wanna put same me in A tier now that I'm looking at it. No, I wanna put Detox. I wanna put Detox at A tier. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do, chat. I think I want to put Detox at A tier. Thorns B? Nah, Thorns not B tier, bro. If anything, I'd rather put We or Shoot at B tier, but Polo, you let, you let, you let Lil Dirk outshine you, though, so you got to go C tier, bro. Bro, Thorns is not, bro, I don't know why I love Thorns so much, bro, but... Me personally, bro, that song did not hit. Let me listen to the song again. Still don't think it's better than Detox, bro. It's, yeah, I can't change my mind, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, S tier, Dark Side, A tier, God's Favorite, Angels in the Sky, From the Heart, and Detox. B tier, Barely Holding On, Same Me, G63, Distractions, and Father's Day. Low key, I might have to change something on B tier, bro. I don't know if it's between Same Me or distractions or father's day i'm not sure which one but i think one of them have to go with a tier i'm not i don't know yet c tier thorns we'll shoot rain falling bad kids survivor survivor of the fittest d tier only only gang no turning back and no recruits let me took let me take one more look at this Yeah, I think we're good, chat. Distractions or same me? Same me and distraction gotta go A tier. Uh I don't know. I don't know which one. I I might low-key have to go with distractions, bro. Yeah. Low key. Yeah, that yeah. Mm, I might have to. Alright. That's it. That's it. Distractions. Distraction is going to A tier. This is the this is the final list, man. S tier, Dark Side. A tier, God's Favorite, Angels in the Sky, From the Heart, Detox, and Distractions. B tier, Barely Holding On, Save Me, G63, and Father's Day. C tier, Thorns, Will Shoot, Rain Falling, Bad Kids, Survival of the Fittest. D tier, Only Gang, No Turning Back, and No Recruits, man. This is my hood poet tier list. Now look, again. The album was solid, not his best body of work. Can Polo G improve? Yes, he can. Polo G is a lyricism, or a lyricist, a lyricist, um, and that's very, very important. You know what I'm saying? Polo G could paint stories. He's he good with his words, and I feel like Polo G could be around for a very, very long time. Now, the things that the thing that's gonna separate him from now. Until the future is him to continue to be consistent. We're living in a time where if you're gone for a long time, people could forget about you. And a lot of people don't know Polo G dropped. Or a lot of people like, uh, he's probably still making the same type of music, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? But then again, when you change your music or when you change the sound up, people be like, okay, he need to go back to how he came to the game. So it's like, it's always a lose-lose in this industry. You can't make everybody happy, but what you can do is be consistent. What you can do 
It's yes, you can try new things. You can try which sound is gonna work, which sound is not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Polo G been in the game way, way too long to not understand that, bro. You feel me? Lock in with a with an engineer, produce your music correctly, and you're good, PG. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, come on, man. You ahead, of, bro. You ahead of your generation. You feel me? Or your or your peers, bro. You know, all your albums went what? Gold? Like what? What was it? All his album went what? Gold, right? Not even gold. Word, you know what I'm saying? All your albums did numbers, bro. Like two time platinum, you feel me? So, bro, you got this game. Double platinum, bro. Word. Like, come on, bro. In this in this generation, bro, you're ahead, bro. You feel me? So I don't want Polo G to be to feel like, damn, 24k, 24k, cool. Yes, it's a decline from 134 to 24. That's a very big decline. But bro, bro. All you got to do is lock in. Just drop, drop, consistency. You've been going for three years. In those three years, you probably gave us. Maybe I could count on my fingers on how many songs you gave us, bro. Lock in, gang.